straight jackets in the boot. Not suit that I'm loose. Hello guys, it's your boy CP9 Nash here, you know, and we have a new update coming soon. We have um, two revival outfits coming out, and also the last update coming out, which DOA Tech Official has just announced on Twitter. I'm gonna read out the tweet and then I'll show you the rest of the fight. So, for the new update coming out soon. This says DOA 6 patch version 1.22 is scheduled to be released mid-April. Don't know the exact date, but it's mid-April apparently, so probably the 15th. Um, DLC added his Revival or High Society costumes. I haven't seen it, so I don't know how it looks. And the school uniforms, I don't know how it looks. And bug fixes and etc. So you lot can get excited for the costumes if you want, but the bug fixes and etc. Someone's just getting nerfed. Someone's probably getting nerfed and they don't deserve to get nerfed. So, they don't have to balance this game properly. Um, you got one premium ticket scheduled to be released on April the 16th. So that's probably the same time the outfits will be out. Um, so you can have one premium ticket to buy an outfit. Or have the choice to buy one premium ticket for the hair colours. You get what I mean. Um, and the last one, which is the big one. After over a year of updates, Patch 22 will add DOA 6 final DLC. Current features like online matches, rankings, and the store will remain available. We hope everyone continues to play DOA 6. Thank you for understanding. Okay. It's, it's cool that they told us, but I don't understand. Like, the game's unfinished and stuff. The online matches, um, I hope they add the tag battle system. Still. Because a lot of people have been asking for it, they haven't added it in. So if they did it, it will be much better. There. Yeah. Rankings. Um, they're either going to add more rankings. But I hope they add character rankings. Like specific character rankings. But I highly doubt they're going to do this because it's theory and they haven't done it for years. Yeah. Next thing is, the rankings will probably be the problem that people are talking about. Um, losing a lot of points and gaining a lot of points. Is the ranking system is kind of too punishable if, if you ask for my opinion it's very punishable it doesn't expose bad and good players it's just very punishable that's what I believe it is and um, the last one is the store will remain available the store will remain available because they want money so obviously it's going to remain available but my speculations is DOA 6 ultimate is probably being worked on for the PS5 and they will probably add hair color change to that game for free because Xbox and PC are missing out and that will probably be locked behind in-game currency what everybody else wants in the game I hope they do but I don't know so if they're not making DOA 6 Ultimate then it's kind of a slap in the face to people that love the game like me and other content creators that love playing this game it's one of my favorite fighting games alongside with Tekken 7 and Soul Calibur and Blaze Blue but it is where it is the developers are money grabbers greedy and they don't know how to balance their game I guess so yeah that's it for now. You can watch the rest of the fight if you want or just log off the video. But like, comment, subscribe. I I'd like to see everyone's thoughts on this topic. Yeah, I'm out. <laughs>